everyone, it's Scott from scottmillerguitar.com. We're back for yet another video. Thanks for tuning in. Guys, what I just played at the top of this video is what we're discussing today. We're talking about position playing. I get a lot of emails asking this certain question as well as in-person lessons in Salt Lake City at my school. The question is, Scott, can you tell us what a position is? I'm not sure if it's a four fret range or a six fret range. I'm not sure to determine how to, you know, which position I'm playing in. Is it the fret you start on or is it the lowest fret you encounter? So we're going to touch on all those things and discuss those things right now. Simply put, a position is simply a four fret range. How come? We have four fingers of the left hand. So do this with me if you would. Let's go down to the lowest area of the guitar and put your first finger over the first fret. I'm not stretching the fingers. I'm just putting slight distance between them. Um, put your first finger over the first fret, second finger, second fret, third finger, third fret, and fourth finger, fourth fret. Guys, that is a natural span of the left hand. That's a position. Now, which position numerically are we in? This is what you need to remember. A position is determined by which fret the first finger rests on. So we, we are in what's called the first position. Okay, I'd like us to play this together. And this can be a great way for you to warm up, you know, before you go to band practice, perform, or whatever, part of your practice routine. Let's simply do this. Uh, first finger on the first fret, second finger on the second fret, third finger on the third fret, and fourth finger on the fourth fret for all six strings. Uh, no open strings in this example. We'll get to that in a minute. And let's simply play all of the notes in the first position. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Speed up a little bit. Let's go back down. Three, four. Okay, so we're clear on that. A position is a four fret span determined by which fret your first finger hovers or rests on. Um, here's a great question. I think it's a great question, and I usually get one of two answers. And when I ask students this, because I think 50% answer one way and the other 50% answer another way, I think we need to ask this question. If a position, um, I should say if the first position is frets one through four, which frets are in the second position? So think about that for just a second. Which frets are in the second position? I usually get one of two answers. The first answer is incorrect, but you understand, I think you'll understand how they get this answer. They'll say, well, Scott, if the first position is frets one through four, then I guess the second four fret area would be fifth fret, and then the next four fret area would be the ninth fret, so forth and so on. That is incorrect, but I understand how they would think that or how they came up with that answer. Remember this, the second position starts with the second fret. Okay, so first position one through four, second position two through five, and you can go all the way up on the guitar. On the acoustic, I have like 20 frets, so the last position I have is a 17th position. Okay, if you have a uh, 24 fret guitar, you would have uh, 21 positions, right? 21, 22, 23, 24. So it depends on are you playing acoustic, nylon string, classical, electric, 12 string, how many frets on your electric, but anyway. We have uh, on a 20 fret acoustic 17 positions. Okay, so again, uh, or not again, let's play in the second position this time. We're gonna go two through five. Okay, let's try that together. One, two, three, here we go. We'll go descending. Just so you know, guys, you don't have to play every single fret within a position to be in a position. What if I did this? Okay, I didn't touch every single fret. That was an F sharp uh, minor blues scale. I played the majority of the frets, but uh, you don't have to play every fret. That's just an observation. Um, okay, so let me just randomly ask you. I'm going to jump around the neck. Uh, I'm just going to grab a couple of positions. If I ask you which frets are in the fifth position, what would you say? Hopefully you would say it starts on the fifth fret. It would be five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, again, being random, uh, what about the twelfth position on the guitar? Hopefully you would say twelfth fret, or it starts on the twelfth fret and goes twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Guys, let's also talk about two more things. We're going to talk about the open position, and then we'll talk about correct fingering before we leave this video. Okay, so if I ask you, well, which position, if, if you have open strings on the guitar and we have six strings open, which position would they be put into, or is there an open position? Now, I've heard a couple of definitions of what the open position is or can be. If we determine that there are four notes uh, per string in a position, some have said, well, I'm going to create a position down here called the open position, which will be the open string, for instance, and then three fretted notes. 
So giving you four notes on that string, meaning open, one, two, three, and the next string would be open, one, two, three, open. So let's play together what some will call the open position. Every string open followed by the first, second, and third frets on that very string. Here we go, one, two, three, four. Skipped a note there by accident. Descending one, two, three, four. I just added a trill, didn't plan it, just came out. Okay, guys, the other definition I've heard uh, about open position playing is some will say, well, you have access to use your, you know, you can use your pinky, it's just hanging out there. So instead of going open one, two, three, let's utilize that fourth finger and go open one, two, three, four. So that's yet another, I think. Good definition of the open position. So you can say the first position is clearly 1 through 4 and the 12th position was 12 through 15, but open position could be one of two things. Open, a string, uh, the six strings open plus the first three frets, or the six strings open in the first four frets. So let's play this new definition of open position. Again, this could be a great way to warm up your fingers each day, uh, part of your practice regimen. So I'm going to count to four. We're going to play open. One, two, three, four, and then do the same thing on the next string. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Keep going. Open. 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 Descend three, four. Guys, before we depart and wrap up this video, let's talk about correct finger placement. Let me just tell you as well, uh, I would say, if you were to ask me what is my weakest finger, it's probably the same for you guys. It's the little finger, isn't it? I use the little finger a lot, and I've done so for a couple of decades. It's super important with large chord types, especially if you have four notes, but if, especially if you have a stretch, the third finger is just not going to cut it in many cases. So uh, here's a great way to utilize all four fingers and to practice using all four fingers. And it uh, can be done by doing exercise or scales. I'm going to show you something in this video. Now, this video is not on scales and modes and pattern playing. Those videos are also found in this channel. Just check out Major Pentatonic Mode 1, Major Pentatonic Mode 2. We'll discuss what modes are, what scales are, and patterns are. But let me give you an example you can play today and through which I'll show you correct finger placement. Okay, so we're going to play what's called a C major pentatonic. We're going to be, for those of you in the know, it's going to be uh, mode one or pattern one. I want you to do this. Go to the sixth string eighth fret, and we're simply going to play two notes per string. Let me give you the frets first, and then we'll give you the fingering after. So the frets on the low sixth string are eight and ten. Right now, just use whatever fingers feel comfortable. So let's go eight and ten on the sixth string. Okay, next string is seven and ten. Next string is 7 and 10 as well. Next string is 7 and 9. Last two strings, which are really the first two strings on the guitar, 8, 10, 8, 10. So it should go 8, 10, 7, 10, 7, 10, 7, 9, 8, 10, 8, 10. That's a C major pentatonic scale mode 1. Okay. Uh, let's talk about correct finger placement. And here's a great question I get from students. They're like, well, Scott, I started the scale on the 8th fret. So I guess I could be in the 8th position, right? And then some will say, well, but the lowest fret I encounter was the 7th fret, so maybe I'm in the 7th position. What do you guys think? Are we in the 8th position because we start out, started on the 8th fret? Or are we in the 7th position because that was the lowest fret we encountered? Take a second on that. Okay, if you said the 7th position, you're exactly right. It doesn't matter necessarily which fret you start on. What matters or what determines a position is the lowest fret you encounter. So watch this. 8, 10, 7. I could stop right there and say I'm absolutely in the seventh position, right? Which would be frets 7, 8, 9, 10. Now here's the correct finger placement, which you did down here probably without even thinking about it. The first finger will cover the lowest frets in a position. So in this example where I'm going 8, 10, 7, 10, 7, 10, 7, 9, 8, 10, 8, 10, all seventh fret notes are played with the first finger, okay? The next highest fret in any position will be played with the second finger. Okay, the next highest fret is the third finger, and the last fret in a four fret position is always the little finger. Does that make sense? So here again is the same scale, C major pentatonic, uh, with the correct fingering. So go to six string frets eight and 10, and go fingers two and four. 
okay? And by starting a scale on the second finger, your assumption should be, wow, I must be in the position one fret below, because if I'm starting on my second finger, there must be frets one fret below, which the first finger covers. So again, back to the sixth string, eight and 10th frets, give me fingers two and four. Next string will be one and four. I could give you the frets, which are seven, 10, but just by telling you one and four, you should say, wait a minute, I think I know what frets those would be based on the position, right? So we have on the bottom again, we have two and four. The next string is one and four. Next string is one and four. And then one and three. Next string is two and four. Next string is two and four. If you guys wanna play with me, I'm gonna do alternate picking with the right hand, which means down on the first note, up on the second. Uh, cool thing about pentatonic, it disperses the notes, two notes per string, so it's a great way to develop alternate picking. So let's do this. I'll quickly call one more time the frets, and then I'll give you the fingers, and then we'll play it together. So from low to high, it's going to go 8, 10, 7, 10, 7, 10, 7, 9, 8, 10, 8, 10. Hopefully that's not too fast. Here's the fingering. 2, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 3, 2, 4, 2, 4. So guys, let's play this up and back down, and we'll be done with this video. 1, 2, 3, here we go. 2, 4. I'm playing half notes, by the way. Sorry. How'd you guys do on that? We'll do it again. I should have forewarned you. I was doing half notes, not thinking the, what kind of rhythm we were doing. Let's do it again. I'm going to slow it down a bit. We're going to do half notes. I mean, the first note's going to be one, two, three, four. We'll do that, okay? I think we're ready, guys. Here we go. One, two, three, half notes. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Okay, this last time I'm going to do it again with you. We're going to go low to high. We'll come back down as well, but this time the numbers I mentioned are the fingers. Okay, ready? Same thing, same rhythm, half notes. One, two, three, here we go. Give me finger two. Four, one, four, one, four, one, three, two, four, two, four. Descend. We have four, two, four, two, three, one, four, one, four, one, four, two. And there you have it, guys position playing, what it is, what it is not, and hopefully you learned something from this video. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, just click subscribe above, and we'll be posting several videos daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. Um, if you also haven't been to the website, please go there, scottmullerguitar.com. Click on the link for ebook, and you can receive a free uh, ebook that I wrote for all the YouTubers out there. So go get you a free ebook. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think. And also, if you want to send me an email, let me know what you struggle with and what kind of ideas you'd like in ebook form or videos, and we'll make sure we get those done for you as well. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.